Welcome back, stylers. Thank you for joining me, and welcome to the first of my RJ's Care and Share Ideas series. As most of us are finding more time on our hands, I've been seeing on social media an uptick in requests for ideas on crafting. This got me to thinking about ideas that I have had for crafts that didn't quite necessarily fit my style, or perhaps was just something that I didn't need. The idea would be discarded and I would move on to something else. What if that idea could be carried out by someone else? Someone who actually might want that idea, someone who hadn't thought of that idea, something they might want to craft for themselves. And with that, RJ's Care and Share Ideas was born. I urge you, if you are a crafter and you have any social media presence at all, to adopt this format. If you have an idea that you're not going to use and if it's not something you think has been seen widely on other platforms, please share that idea. Please share it. Put your own Care and Share Ideas logo on it so people know that that's what, exactly what you're doing. Share those ideas, keep them from getting lost, and help others who might be in need of an idea to keep themselves busy at this time. I urge you to do this and join me in helping people find ideas to keep them busy during these times that we are facing. And now, let's get into some crafting. I had the idea to take one of these Dollar Tree house frames and some clockworks and turn it into what else? A clock. Now, you can use any type of clockworks. You can purchase clockworks. You can purchase a clock, a cheap one at Walmart will cost you $4 and you can just dismantle it and use the clockworks from that. Or perhaps you have an old clock sitting around the house, you can dismantle and take the works from there as well. The clock mechanism that I have pictured here is actually a $4 clock from Walmart and as you can see, uh, it's uh, our minute and second hands are a bit large for this house frame that I've chosen. However, any clockworks that you have, you can cut those hands down to size. They're very thin, they're very easy to cut, uh, and you can make them fit quite easily. To help you measure the size of the hands that you'll need, just place the mechanism inside the house frame and measure accordingly. Next, you're going to want to find the center, of course, where and how the hands will fit appropriately. It should find some kind of center point and drill you a hole there. Now attach the clockworks to the back of your house frame. Use wood glue, hot glue, any permanent glue will work. And you should end up with something that looks like this. Now keep in mind, I did not drill a hole, I am not attaching the mechanism, I am not making the clock. I have just removed the hands to show you typically what a basic construction of this should look like. Now here's where the fun begins and where your creativity kicks in. You can simply download clock faces that you can print and place inside your uh, house frame, but you could also decorate it in many different ways. So here are a few examples where I have just downloaded some clock faces, just again to give you an example of what you can do. You might actually like just having the paper backing that comes inside the original frame with some clock hands in it. Uh, that has a nice look and these houses do have different patterns of paper already inside them. Paint them, uh, place uh, uh, stickers, uh, however, use your creativity and design this clock uh, to suit your style. Have fun with it. And uh, what's really great about this is it's a perfect clock that can just sit on a tabletop. If you go with this idea, think about where you might display it, your craft room your bedroom, a kitchen. Uh, this thing can fit all sorts of different themes and be used in just about every room of the house. It's only limited by your imagination. I hope you found this project fun and useful. If you have, please like the video, share the video, and comment below. Let me know if you plan on making one of these for your home. 